Hello and welcome to my channel Vermont Lavender. I'm Diane and I'm going to show you how to make lavender sugar today. So it has white cane sugar in it and also my organic lavender. So let's continue. What I did is I laid down some wax paper to make sure that the sugar does not go on my floor and that you have a nice clean workstation. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my lavender sugar and start sifting it. And what I have here for lavender varieties is I have Grosso, Munstead, and Pink Perfume. And this has been blending for about six months. And you shake it every day and you want to make sure that you are using very dry, well dried lavender buds and flowers. And it's best to harvest them right when they're starting to open. That's when they have the most essential oils. And that's what you want because you get the medicinal properties and also you get the aromatherapy um, benefits from lavender. Because it smells, it smells terrific. <laughs> As soon as you open the jar, you can smell the lavender. It smells so nice. Okay. Let's take it out some large stems. Okay. Almost there. And this takes about maybe about 10-15 minutes, like probably 15 minutes to make, but it takes a long time for the lavender buds and flowers, lavender to infuse with the sugar. And that's what you want because it lasts a long time, you get the really nice aromatic and medicinal properties of the lavender. So this is the first sifting. Then I'm going to... So here's all my lavender buds and flowers. And then I'm going to sift it again into a smaller bowl. Hopefully you can see this. I just want to make sure I'm catching all those stems or large items because when I make my lavender sugar I like it nice and well blended and just like little flecks of the lavender because it makes for a nicer product when you're using it and making your sugar cookies or for teas. sugar here and this is a messy, <laughs> messy project so make sure you're ready for the mess and you have to do a really good job on cleanup so that is the second step and then the next step is a little bit loud and well actually well, the next step is important here So this is the third step. Let's return it to your jar. And I use a mason jar. And try not to breathe this in if you can help it. It won't hurt you or anything like that, but if you have allergies, it will make a sneeze. So just be careful. Okay. All 
right. So that is all set. Just with the rim. And we'll put our cover back on because we want it to stay nice and dry. And the next step is I have a KitchenAid, <laughs> I'm trying not to advertise, but I have a KitchenAid grinder and this is a spice and they also sell a coffee grinder combination and so I'm using my spice grinder. So I'm taking the lavender buds and some of the um, hard sugar here. And make sure you put your cover on. You don't have the cover on. It makes a big mess. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pulse this. Um, I have tried it doing it the one full um, thing like this. But it's better to actually pulse it. It goes quicker. And so I'm going to put it in this bowl. get it in there just right. Okay. Yeah, that sounds better. Thank you. <laughs> so this is the fourth step. And see what the difference is. Here is the that but this is the lavender buds and then I have the ground lavender buds and flowers so it makes for a nicer uh, product it looks prettier I think okay get it in there consistency and that's what you're looking for. Okay. All right. Actually let me just do it that way. Not to make too much of a mess here. Yes, I will have a major cleanup. Oops. Okay. your fourth step like I said. So there's about five steps to make the lavender sugar and then you can after that you can let it rest for a while and then put it into your bottles or your jars or however you want to store it. This is a real nice blender. Okay, so that's that there. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Now I am ready to combine this with my sifted sugar. Where's my spoon? Okay. Just pour that in there. And this is very well dried lavender buds and flowers. That's, that's the key. It's more aromatic and it just tastes better having the longer months of the... Because you're, what you're doing is you're infusing the lavender buds and flowers with the sugar. And that takes a while. So 
let nature do its work. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, take my label off, out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to shake this really well. So see, uh, this is all the ground up lavender buds and flowers, and then that's the sugar. And so what you want to do is you want to blend this. And so you're getting a workout. <laughs> <laughs> You're exercising, making your lavender sugar. <laughs> so before you get to use it, you get the workout. All right. So you just want to make sure that it, it's well incorporated with its with the sugar and the lavender. Okay. All right. Here we go. So, see now it's well blended, and I have a little bit here, so I'll probably mix that up a little bit more. There, okay. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this rest for probably like a day. So thank you for tuning in to my little video on making lavender sugar. Thank you. Enjoy. So if you found this video helpful and you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. It helps to get my videos out there in the YouTube algorithm. And the next video to watch is how to grow lavender. So I have a whole playlist if you want to check that out so you can make lavender sugar yourself. All right, thanks for joining me. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video.